overcoming because we say the basics of this uh, 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 conference here number one it is how we are doing what you call crossing generational boundaries if I begin today to ask a very simple question to my brother Mzendubi himself if I ask him today how far did he travel? How far did he travel? Your father who gave birth to you. Are you a eh. I mean, any other person, Simtu and Isa Safiri, Alifika, Kama uko kwenu kisi, Baba Enu Alifika wapi? Alifika na Kuru, Alifika na Nairobi, Alifika Mombasa, Alifika Egypt. Kuna wale walipigana first world war kama kina Baba Jerimo. Walienda first world war, walienda Egypt. Wakona historia, walienda. Ni wapi likuenda piganua Egypt? Ama ni Italy. Wale walikuwa naingisho kwa meli, alafu wanajikuta kwamba wanatokea the other side of the the other side of the place. Some they went and became slaves. Where did your father travel? How far did he travel? Uh -huh. The Tanzania, the other side. That was the last place that he traveled. But you as an individual, by God's grace, you have traveled at least apart from Kenya. You have taken off. You have been in the U.S. several times because of the nature of your children. Is it true? So there is something that you have done what you call. You have crossed a certain boundary that was marked. Every individual, all of us, but as we say, there is a boundary that stands in a family and this boundary stands so angry that at some level to cross, to go beyond it, becomes a difficult situation. That is what happened. Now, Maniko Nasema, when they started the journey from Egypt, it was a celebration, what if I, that finally we are coming out of slavery. But when they were in the wilderness, there is a difference between Egypt and the wilderness. But when they were in the wilderness, the Bible says, Egypt they spent 400 years. But in the wilderness, they spent 40 years. That's more of a tithe of the years that they spent. They stayed for 40 years in the wilderness. But still, in the same wilderness, the sword cloud was hanging around them. There was that boundary. Praise the Lord. There was a boundary that these people were unable to cross. And that's how we started yesterday. God told the children of Israel, Joshua chapter number 5, verse number 8. And as we read it from verse number 8, it was over very quickly. As we read from verse number 8, and then we go to verse number 9. Here in the Oyo, Katka, the biggest one it says. Because we are dealing with what we call, because there times we have what we call an heritage shame. Yani aibu ya kuridi. Bana suosa. Kuna aibu ya kuridi. That there are things that are happening in families. And that you cannot escape them. Praise the Lord. They are shame of a family that you cannot escape it. There are disappointment of the families you cannot escape it. But I want to pray and believe that for sure there is one thing that you can do as a family man that God can give you a grace that you can escape the shame of any single family and you begin a family that has a reputation. I say you can begin a family with a great reputation. I keep on saying even some girls some boys, you can do what your father did, you can do what your mother did, but you can escape the shame of your mother and your father. Read it quickly. Bible says, uh -huh. And after the whole nation had been circumcised, uh -huh. they remained where they were in camp uh -huh. until they were healed. Uh -huh. Then the Lord said to Joshua, After they were circumcised, after they did what? They were circumcised. They were circumcised. I'm not talking about the circumcision now physical. I am talking about the information. It may be bitter what 
we are speaking in this altar. One of your son. Sometimes when you take bold step and you say the things my communities are doing, I am not going to do with it. Praise the Lord. There are things my family has gone through. I am not going to be part of it. There are places they have been. I am not going to be part of it. It's a painful circumcision. Particularly when you are taking a step that it is not popular one with your community, popular with your family, popular with the people that you are very used to it. So we are going to rise to a level whereby we are fighting shame from every direction. Why would you do a good one? 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 Then the Lord said to Joshua, yeah? Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. The other translation says, I have taken away shame out of you. Amen. Shame of slavery. Then there are things I talked about, misusters. I mean, I 
alafu ukimkuta after some times anasema ah waachana na huyu eh kazi yake there's a man who talked something about me and he keep on telling my friend about it every day namwambia ha huh? he called me a broker as god leave it if i forget about it if i and what i did i was doing that of a good heart but because of satanic agentic my because when you are doing something out of good heart ukifanyia mtu kitu na moyo mzuri haufanyi ndrango kubaya unafanya kwa sababu unaona opportunity that you can be able to do something for somebody else so that na yeye okay lakini anataka kukuacha katika aibu milele heri ndio apate kukutawala wale wanataka ufilisike ndio wa kutawala haitawezekana tena maana kuna kipindi ya jangwani after the wilderness god puts one end akasema from today i have run away from out of your house in jesus name na nataka aibu and the god is able to take away shame out of your family Mungu ana uwezo wa kutoa aibu katika nyumba. Ndio unaona mtu mmoja katika familia ndio unamwambia Mungu anainuaga one star in the family. Bwana sio sasa. Joseph and among his brothers, he was one of the stars. Alijaribu kuangia ndugu zake kwamba my star was shining when the rest of the other stars were so bow. They could not understand him. But let me tell you, God can raise somebody, God can raise one person in a family and I believe that Person is you who is taking your family out of shame. I say you are taking your family out of shame. I say you are taking your family out of shame. I believe that. That's what the Bible says in Judges chapter number six. The Bible says and Gideon was crying. The, the guy was misplaced. Tell your neighbor misplaced. And the Bible says God say and talk to him and say the angel came and patted him and say. Hey, hey, kid, you are a mighty man. Nasema wachanaga na mimi. Have you ever been seeing somebody? Arabu najua, I've known satanic agents. People who are full of evil. Wakitaka kitu kutoka kwako, they will they can break you. Did I tell you there's a people who came here? Oh, Bishop. Eh, hey, mkubwa. Bwana, overseer. Nini? Satanic language. They are want to call satanic language. Satanic what? Muda kidogo kutoa hela ya nini Joshua? Eh anamwambia kiongozi. Eh bwana chairman. Eh mheshimiwa vipi? Kumbe ni mapepo anataka. <laughs> na unajua mwanadamu anapenda hiyo massage ya hivyo, si ni kweli? Ukitoa mheshimiwa na hoja kwa chochote si una eh unasikia. <laughs> Ndio unampatia tu hivyo. Ambia mheshimiwa <laughs> kiongozi asijakunywa <laughs> chai kiongozi. Unachotolea hata labda ime bag 50 babu ya watoto maana hiyo masifa ni nyingi watu inunue chai. Yaani you pay it. Unanyero? You pay it. Kitu ni kaambiwa kitu ni wale mighty man of fella. How is that? How? How do you tell me this kind of nonsense when my family is going through hell when people we are ashamed every time the midnight comes against us we enter into caves bwana sio san aibu inakufanya unaingia mahali ya pastor bwana sio san shakuwa na aibu unaingia watu ukisikia mtu ukiona mtu kangambo ile nyingine ambayo anakujua unajifanya si ndio josh unajifanya unavuka barabara hata gari zinapiga mpaka zinapiga you are running away from shame running away from what i say you shall not run away again i say you shall not run away again look at this the bible says like this in the book of genesis chapter number 3 genesis chapter 3 one and the bible says and god has said you will shall not eat every tree of the garden and the woman said to the serpent so the woman engaged the serpent in conversation after engaging the conversation the bible says a serpent saying no god knows Come on, the devil can make you make a mistake and you suffer sin and you cannot make that mistake. I say you cannot make that mistake. And this week by God Christ, this conference is all about taking people out of sin. Every one of you individually God is taking out of sin. Bwana Yesu sasa. Hey, aibu ni mbaya sana. Sana, sana, sana. 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 Nilikuwa naonekana kama nimechelewa kuoa ndrang So other pastors wetu walikuwa na kila saa anasema wakati harusi inafanyikanga he said today ama wasanga harusi anasema wasanga eh wiki hii ndio alikuwa anaongea kisumu praise the lord praise the lord 
We are now saying for Nani's wedding. Uh, are you brother? When are you getting? Are you? Yani now we do not have siri. Una ipi kausema. When as if you to natangaza arusi. Praise the Lord. Some some of these guys they get old. Muda seka da kuna mtu anaza. Praise the Lord. Arusi to natangaza next week. Yani una tete meka. Aibu na kufika baka una skia. Siku ya arusi au cha atoke. Pena siku ya arusi una mbwa kamba. Wewe wakati wana panga. Wewe ni uta tafsiri. Wewe ni uta fa anini. Una shinda kuepa. Una kaka tukati aibu. But let me tell you, my friend, it will not last forever. But it's only forty years they were in the wilderness for them. But God gave them a grace. They crossed over from them, and God is making to cross over from this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that was the last day. Nilisimamia rusi. Nilitetemeka ndubi. Nilitetemeka mbaka miwika kongana. Pole muzee na haibu ilikuweko mingi kongezea. Nikitoka hapa hivi. One sister. A sister. I will never forget it. The brother. I need to jare it. He was here sometimes back. Mbibibibia. Rafikia kia mungine. Mbao zikuwa tunuwele na kanisa. Anakuja nasema. Una wengine wanakuwaka hapa za siwa na jipanga. Hii mrozi mna kaga haje. Mdo wanakaka kwa kioski. Mna kaga haje. Wata wengine na jipanga. Wata tunashiru ni wanawakigani. Wata wapranda duniani. Ukiambiwa hii watani unambiwa mbere za watu. My friend ya hibu inakusika. Mbako natafuta. Unaitafutia shuguri na shuguri ya kuna. Havia babi ni nishem. Bwana suwe sana. Wato wananda kukombea watoto. Na kuna watu wengine wanayumikana na shetani. Wanaza kusema unajua sikuizi. Hai bwana suwe sana unajua. Mdoto wangu unajua ule mungina ako sana di five. Ata saiji nasikia ni kona mima. Nasai hata unambwana. Yani mbako nasikia hii ushirika. Ukianda maripo. Every place. And you have no. Sema shame. Sema shame. Yani maniku nasema. Gideon. Let me talk about it. Gideon. Who the Bible says was a mighty man. Vala. But because of defeat. Because of what? Umayi kupiwa na maisha my friend. People may not know your potential until that potentiality in you is exploited with an opportunity. Praise the Lord. It is until somebody gives you an opportunity that people know the ability that you have within. Aye. Everyone of us has ability. Has what? Akona ability. Gideon ni akazema, akamambia, akamambia malaika, akamambia, kama muna zema ni mungu kweli, unisubiri hapa, unisubiri hapa, kama ni weather kibari na nisubiri hapa waja nitoe dhabiu nione na ukikonsume ndio ndachua kama hiyo story ya kuniambia might man of vera ninaona kama inaeza ingia ala isikuwa gina haraka wanaezo siwe sana shida inafanyaga mtu ujiepe sidi kweli aibu aibu niliwambia jana watu wanakulizaga kwenu ni wapi unashindo kuereza unashindo vani ni Sama kwetu ni huko. Kwetu ni hapa. Hapa. Wapi brother Queen? Uko na vile mtu ajiko serious. Si kweli? Unashinda kuambia mtu, si unitembele, si unitembele, si unitembele. Unafikiri atika kusikiwa sasa? Yes, leo tunaenda. Ah, ngoja kidogo. Kifungu imepotea. Waja unaanza kutafuta naye kifungu. And sio kifungu, ni aibu kwenda huko Joshua. Zoma yo Edward Genesis chapter 3 Anda usoma verse number 3 yeah, verse, verse 1, 2 and 3 Basi nyoka alikuwa mwerevu kuliko wanyama wote wa mwitu mm. Alio ufanya bwana mungu mm. Aka muambia mwana mke mm. Ati hivi ndivyo alivyo sema mungu mm. Musile matunda ya miti ya bustani mm. Mwana mke aka muambia nyoka mm. Matunda ya miti ya bustani toweza kula lakini matunda ya mti ulio katikati ya bustani mm-hmm. Mungu amesema mm-hmm. msiale wala msiaguse mm-hmm. msije mkafa mm-hmm. nyoka kamwambia mwanamke uh-huh. hakika hamtakufa amtafanini hamtakufa is your conversation demonic tell your neighbor demonic conversation please talk to someone say demonic conversation 
After some conversation, they divert you and subject you to shame. There are people who can walk in you. There are women today who are suffering shame. Given birth, when they say, I'm going to go to 26. You say, it is shameful act of devil. Ebuso verse number nine and ten. He was so to cut the story very short, so that we can be able to enter quickly. Then we did about what we call spiral shame. Yeah. Bana mungu akamuita Adam. Eh. Akamwambia. Eh. Uko wapi? Eh. Atasema. Eh. Nalisikia sauti yako bustanini. Eh. Nikaogopa kwa kuwa mimi ni uchi. Eh. Nikajificha. Eh. Atasema eh. ni nani aliyekuambia kuwa uchi? Eh. Je, umekula wewe matunda ya mti niliyokuagiza usiale? Okay, okay, okay. So that says is atasema I was ashamed. I was what? Who told you? Who told you? The moment you get out of the presence of God, number one, you suffer shame. You know what? As I said what? But when you are in the presence of God, Praise of God. A no sin can intimidate you. Praise the Lord. When you walk, God told Joshua, God told Joshua, be courageous. As I was with Moses, I shall be with you. And you shall not be ashamed. Be confident. Then in other words, when you are in the presence of God, people can never threaten you with what they have. Hey. Nasema, when you are walking with God, you are right with Him. You can never be intimidated by what people have. Amen. When you are not a thief, protect about the thieves and prostitutes who are stolen, who have done prostitution, they have everything they desire and they keep on intimidating you. You can never be ashamed when you are walking in the presence of God. The moment you get away from the presence of God, no matter what you have. There are people who have things today, they cannot even speak them in public. Why? Because they are ashamed of them. Because Manoma na enesha gari hapa Gari ya ngufu Prado V8 Kumbe ni mnuluwa na mama wa miaka 98 Awawesi kushikana na ye kwa mikisa ashamed Have you ever seen that one? Hai Mama mechoka Unavuruta hivi mpaka uruze Tena na kumumunya kwa adharani Oja anda Oenda Mombasa ndi otajionea vituko Ena Mombasa Wa mama wa zungu Wako 98 years Hivi tuyota imeteremuka hii Hivi Hivi tuangole Imeteremuka viko hapa chini Matiti hiko kama chapati Zenye ambayo jaya kwa mafuta Hiko straight Kijana wa 20 years Pesa unayo But you are ashamed You are what? You are able to make a target in general life Nasema to make a target in general life There are women who are staying in very big suburb estates Big areas Mustaya wa 21 years Hakuna mse wa ITF6 Yani hatha kimpokea kwa mlango Anakikisha anumbia Ukuje saa sita na 48 usiku Tahiyo ndio ndakuwa ni methoka class Sema class Sema class Na siyo class Ni watu ataki wangie Waone kama u mse ndio mwenye nalipo hiyo rent Na mse ya na misipia unamukuta Hamekuja saa sita na nusu Nujua wasewa na saa wa rakaraka Unakuta tuwa hanakuja saa sita Na ndiyo saa hii hamekuja na mabese waka wameja Hanakuja na uliza na Nani Tena anatembea kuwanda kwa bedroom hivi You are ashamed Pako na unatetemeka Unatema ngoja kidogo Baba yangu unajua mekuja Na hindi ya nalipanga rent Mwaza uliwa kidogo kidogo Si baba yako Zema mwana yako Mwana mba you are ashamed of Au jaona yu have you seen those? They can never ride in one same car. Ata malaya hawa unwana wana wana ume na malaya hapa tau ni wanaendala kwa lodging. Wana fikirewa wana wana wapa moje. Si wana samaka? Eee. Ukiingia. Unifanyi hivi. Na mini kungia. Wakingia tu kwa rumu hivi Wakitokaga Ungoje kidogo Na marayo unajua wanaka ibu Yewe na muambia ungoje kidogo na nakufuata nyuma Tena kamu uja mulipa Ndiyo utaona kia sanga sanga Sema to be ashamed You shall not be ashamed in Jesus name I say you shall not be ashamed in Jesus name Ay Ay 
Mtu anapenda pesa. Mtu anapenda pesa lakini aku, mwanaume mwanaume akifungua mdomo kucheka hivi. <laughs> yani kila mtu anahepa lakini jamaa akona wallet. Unauliza ni hepe ama nikae hapa? What? There's that something I saw in in in, in one of the areas I at ni harusi imefanya msichana mweupe express mdogo jamaa ni muganda si alikuwa muganda i think mweusi sana ako na kichwa inaenda kama kama python kwa hivi hivi anangangana unajua anangangana kukisi huyu dada dada anamkisi kwa aibu aibu alisema tumalize have you seen kuna watu wanakisiana tu ukiona hawana they are not ashamed of I said they are not what? I said no, no, no. So shame is a demonic spirit that intimidates you, especially when you are under competition from the people who are evil minded. People who can intimidate you by what they have. Bana I've seen this today in a, in a, in, a, in Facebook. One of the ladies we knew she was dark. I go music my speaker. Leo he mweu are you sick? Are we coming? Yaani mpaka unaibika kutembea na yeye. Unanielewa? Because unatembea na ninja. Ujui kama ni ninja. Unanielewa? Anaweza kukula kwa barabara. You don't know when I said. And the Bible says, and Adam said, I was ashamed because I was what? Naked. I was what? I was naked. Shame is a demonic the spirit that intimidates and makes it out in especially when you are not walking in the presence i didn't say like this not it down as we finish please tomorrow wednesday thursday friday men of god will be here all of them in this conference all of us will be here bana we are finishing well sema amen sema amen we are determined to finish well in this place. We are deter- 2016. We are not going to run away from our enemies. Instead, our enemies will run away from us. I said we are not going to run away from our enemies. They are going to run away from us. Boy, you use my energy, you use my connection, you use my ability, you use my everything, and then you become like a thief, you become like a witch, a witch, a witch. A man who uses somebody's sweat is a witch, you use somebody's star, you are a witch, you are a witch. When somebody has given you an opportunity, the Bible says, David. He ascended to power. He said, Who has remained in the house of God? He never even mentioned Jonathan as a, as a man. He said, Who has remained in the house of God that I may have favor with him? He was told, There's one guy who is a cripple called Mephi for Seth. He said, I do not ask whether it's a cripple, is blind, is what? I have asked one question who is that? That is the Spirit of God. Who is the spirit of demonic satanic agents? When you have an opportunity, somebody gives you an opportunity, you hit him. It's you are under curse. You are under curse. When God has given you an opportunity through somebody, when I say, sir, the Bible says, Jonathan saved David from destruction from his father. This, this is a man, this is a son of Saul. But he saved him. He saved him from his father. After the man ascended to power, the father he said, Who is in the house of what? I said, Who is what? What when I was a Christian, they are not serious Christians. At you all have changed level. Satanic. When you have if Joseph had changed level, he could have forgotten his brothers because they persecuted him. Am I right? I say, Am I right? If Joseph had already been in, the, in power, he could have forgotten his brothers who persecuted him. If you have ability to raise a man, if you have ability to play the brother, to, to, to raise somebody from somewhere, if you have... 
Ugali alisema hii mambo ya kukatakata ugali hapa Afrika. Afrika miaka ile tulielewa zamani. Joshua. Ugali si umekuja imekatwa hapa town. Huko kwani mlikuwa mnakulaje? Hakuna hata mwenye akona miba, marasmus, kwashia kwama. Si mtu alikuwa anatoka shambani anafanya hivi. Ama inakuwaje? <coughs> Anakata ugali, si ni kweli? Siku hizi ni juu vijiko na fuck nonsense. You can call it hygienic but that sometimes is greedy. Kuna vitu uko nazo my friend kutishia watu. I remember Bishop Yede Bo says one day, what God has given you don't use to intimidate people of God. God can use it against you. I say God can use it against you. When you have an opportunity to have a Joshua, take this one thing, this one thing. Even, look at this Joseph, what he did. Imagine his brothers came to buy grain from him and the guy was senior. He remembered if he was a man was thinking. He remembered when I spoke about eight pillars of favor. One of them is forgiveness. Praise the Lord. It's forgiveness. One of the pillars that supports and sustains favor is forgiveness. Generosity. Faithfulness. Obedience. Now Joseph, the Bible says, after his brothers came, he ordered and said, what these people, they have brought us money. Put them back to the mouth of their sacks. Let them go back with it. When you are in a position, number one thing, you should remember that God has raised you to take shame out of your family. I say out of your friends. I say God has given you opportunity to take shame. What? Hey. Vitu kutembeaga unatisha watu na unashaka, unajua? Na kuwajesha bani. Unajua sikuisi liko na... Eh, unajua ni menunua Mercedes? Unajua ni menunua Suzuki? Ni menunua ni nini? So what? Mbaka unaibikaga. Mbana suwe sana. Tulienda na harusi. Ni wami tulienda na wama na kinyi. Mbaka kinyi akaepa kari yetu. Haka sema ya dad. Tuliko nawe? Haka tuwacha. Haka sema ya dad. Sasa... Sasa wewe ni nini sasa hii unaendesha kwa watu tunashindana na ma V8 ma Mercedes tulikuwa tunaenda harusi nyingine huko na mimi niko na kalimu sinaweka mahasadi wakiweka hazard unaniarewa ikajitahidi nikafika ni, na mimi nikaweka nikaweka kama kalimu sinikamu katikati ya ma V8 alizi kanaza mea kakue V8 Siku the vice president alikuja hapa 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 Nuru Palace. Ndio ujue, saa ngine mimi najisetiki. Aibu napiganaka nayo kwa bidibu zendubi, napigana nayo kwa bidii. Unaweza ingia kwa mitumbo nunue koti kama hii. Sotano. Wanaume wakisimama wamevaa koti hata wewe unasimama una adija. Wacha kutishwa. Wengine ni waizi. Wengine ni makaaba. Bwana asifiwe, asifiwe sana. Nimekoka last week, najua za bwana asifiwe sana. Hata mimi unajua niko na nyumba, niko na viatu bwana asifiwe sana. Hata harusi yangu next week, bwana asifiwe. Mbako na kwa inji mireni, kai mimi nimekoka 82 years na hata hakuna hata mtu kukunisalimia bwana asifiwe. You are ashamed of yourself. Don't be ashamed. As long as you are walking under the umbrella of Jehovah, when your season comes, you shall ashamed your enemies. I say when your season appears, your enemies have been to me better. Mimi nilijikuwa immune Joshua hata ukiniangalia hivi mbona kuna shanga eh basta basta umevita maneno mengi hivyo bwana Mama moja anakuja ananiambia wewe utaseka hapa bure Tafuta mujane ako na watoto 3 na wewe tu uite tu umeoa Eh red med family na nikatitasa nikasema Jehova asuri nikamjibu sijui bali majibu sema nikasema mimi siwezi olea kwa hiki chichi I'm a very serious man mimi naolea Nairobi nikamwambia mimi ni watu wa Nairobi akatema mate ile unaona unajua kisiwa kifanya hivi kai hiyo ni madhara wa excess hapa ni aje msendubi eh akafanya hivi nilikuwa na kijambo hiyo bende na mimi unajua mimi sijui kare silitoka wapi nikamwambia na ule jamaa tulikuwa na yeye nikamwambia watch tulikuwa tumesema mwalimu hotel unajua mwalimu hotel hapo nje hapo hivi hivi walikuwa juu ya pick up wakanitoa kwa hiyo pick up yao maana wasema hati hii haibebagi bebagi watu wa viove na unajua mimi tangu zamani nilipenda kujiencourage kwa bwana kama Daudi unajua hivyo Ni 
nikachitoa nikasendi nikajiana miguu wale wakaenda tulipokutana moja wao baadaye akaniambia na wewe ulisema nini gamia vile nilisema nilisema and that was my i was counting my days say that is it and i left nikajiandaa yani unasikia unaona umeona mtu wa maiku kuintimidate have you ever been intimidated in a place maiku tisho tisho cherimu nafika mahali wanaume wanaongea eh i'm putting a flat huko juu na puta around eh watoto wako brookside ah uh, wako walifukuzwa construction fee 24 bob unaniona bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe you get intimidated you are intimidated by people as if you are scared by people are not walking let me tell you let me tell you do the things i say when you are within the season ya mungu no matter what is happening no matter what no matter how they can intimidate you by what you have if you are walking within the season of god there's push so much in your life amen don't be ahead of god god ask adam and say where are you where what i thought i'm walking with you where are you the guy said my father you don't know me i have disappeared because of shame because of what shame when you get out of the umbrella of jehovah shame is eminent same shame comes inevitably it intimidates your life and i pray in this church in this conference 2016 that god shall give you the grace from your family like gideon you shall be the first one who shall cross that generational boundary where everybody stop god shall give you grace to advance i said god shall give you grace to advance where they stop your family god shall give you grace to advance what time education or education you shall be the first one to advance I love one preacher. A man of God alisema kwao ndio wa kwanza kupanda ndege. Tanzania. Akasema alipopanda ndege tu si hata mbali, si ilikuwa inatoka Kilimanjaro si wapi. Alipigia familia yao akasema jameni, miujiza imeonekana. Munisubiri na mpike bilau, naja. Yaani munisubiri kwa airport. Hata ah, wewe ipanda mama Lydia anaingia Nairobi panda ndege, shukia kisumu, wacha kusumbua watu hapa. Wita watu kutoka nyamira huko kwenu ambie kuja kuja munichukue kwa hapo at least ukae kae hapo Bara ile sasa hivi Eh hata asune kasi ndio Nataka tupange my brother tuchukue helicopter ni 50 dao ituchua hapo tukuje na matatu turudi na kuru kwani tutembe tu hapo unajua ni 50 I'm saying the truth Tuchange tu tunaweza fanya project tu save save tu save save kama 2000 1000 sio Eh si ndege helicopter tusunguke kekomu hapo tuk 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 tunashuka hivi tuna karibia na salimia watu huko juu na teremko na tumbo Dio sio maringo mwana tuna cross generation of boundary sema amina At least we toa shame kidogo si bwana asiwe sana There's one of my brothers who came here one day and kuja mazishi hapa juu. <coughs> When he came with the funeral hapa juu, hapa hapa Solai. Akauja na helicopter. Watu wa huko kwetu kisii walio msoya na wakamjua zamani. When he came, akauja helicopter. Na alikuwa amevaa tu jeans na open shoes zake, amesikwa tu helicopter na Nairobi amekuja mazishi akaruka haraka haraka aende zake. Rick Nyanjui, kila mtu alikuwa hapo, MPs wote walikuwa hapo, everybody. So he was alone. Sasa so, akatokea tu anakuja, amekuja hivi. Wakati nilikuja ndio hapo 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 commissioner hiyo si ni PPO si ni police kila mtu wakaepa kwa 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 eh akatokea tu hivi alikuwa tu anatafuna big jack na ball na roll pop asema hivi eh boss eh unajua uzuri hata kama uko na slippers na uko na helicopter watu wanajua uko serious Sembo ko serious na hapa duniani ukikuwa ndrangu unadunga tai hata kama una stand bomb ukitembea na miguu dunga tai ka njonjo ka net ka sawa sawa ukitembea hivi kila mtu asema eh hey boss eh hey boss lakini kama una tai una nini uko na kinyaza jua helicopter teremka kutoka juu na salimia watu unashuka sema haleluya one of greeting shuka na helicopter hapa hapa kwa hii roundabout hapa kila mtu anakuja tu hivi wanatokea una adjust coat pole pole 
Alafu naambia yule kwanza eh hata kama atakuja kukuchukua unasema eh come back eh uguze tu hapa hivi. Si as you are serious unasema eh okay na unaenda. Umesikia Steve? Kwa serious brother to cross to kidogo. Tu sume mulikia mulikia kila mtu amepata chwaki. Helicopter nimekwambia ni 50 dao. Kuna ile ya 50 dao ya apili, eh, eh, nini? Anaitwa nini? Pilot na wewe watu watatu. Kuna ile ya hiyo ya watu watatu Joshua. Naweza kupatia lift usike kama ule jamaa wa Bungoma tu. Kwani kuna shida gani? Unaweza kuja tu hivi maana inaenda haraka haraka hizi. Na kuru na kisi ni 20 minutes. Kwani kushikilia hivi 20 minutes kwani nini? Si tulikwenda simama kutoka Nairobi kwa bus ama ukwa isimama wewe? Unapewa fee. Hata Nairobi sio unapewa fee. Unaambiwa ya kusimama ni 2 bob. Ya kukaa ni 5 bob. So unapiga hesabu unasema if I can save my 3 bob. Kwani why my size seat? Unasimama tu umeshikilia Kenya bus. Na ujui kale ka 50 bob umeweka hapa makazini zao kina nani wako hapo hivi wakina ndirangu. Wamekurokota umekaa tu hivi unakasi sote mbili afadhali ungekaa ungesave. Unanielewa? Huko haibiwa. Ndubi huko haibiwa Nairobi ama huko kuishi huko. Wao libiwa asante. Jo awe Jerimo ama wa Nairobi huko kanyaga hapo. Uliwaibiwa. Ulibatizwa. Joshua ulibatizwa. Kama hujatoka kwenu kenyo ndio jabatizwa lakini kama ulikuwa Nairobi miaka ile yetu ya zamani ili ya kupanda KBS hivi. Waishi kwanza walikuwa wanapenda kazi wasema hema songa 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 songa. Na nafikiri ndio hii chama ilitokaga inafanyaga hivi. Hii kwa ni waishi ama ni nini? Bikoje wangu wanaweka hawakuwa naweka mikono yote si walikuwa naweka mbili Ama inaendaga juu ni Wodi ibiwa ama uje ibiwa Ah wewe ni vile ulizaa kaka yeye asaidi ungekuwa Nairobi ungebatizwa hiyo ndio baptism by fire Sema no more stand up on your feet Nataka tumwamini Mungu please nataka kesho tomorrow invite every